morning everyone welcome back to my channel my name is leanne this is the start of a part weekly vlog i guess i don't know what it's gonna entail hmm. <laughs> we're just gonna wing it we're just gonna I'm just going to bring you along for some things I get up to this week. Today we have the grandkids after school. Uh, it's Wednesday, we normally have them over for dinner. But it's Ava's birthday tomorrow, she's going to be eight. So we're going to pick them up from school, take them over to the big retail park because there's a next there. Uh, let her choose an outfit for her birthday. Hubby's calling, be right back. Sorry about that. I always, um, he, I wake up to a text to say that he's arrived at work and for me to have a nice day, etc. And then as soon as I text him back, he calls me to say, well, I've just had catch up really. To see how I slept and things like that. Very cute. <laughs> so, I don't, yeah, so we're taking her over to pick an outfit. I don't know what I've got up to. And we're just going to get McDonald's for dinner. And by the time we've done all of that and she's seen me, me for a little bit, it'll be time to take them home. And then tomorrow I have Zeke and Nate and it's actually Ava's birthday. So when we take Zeke home, we'll take Ava's presents over with us. Then it's the weekend. Well, the start of the weekend is always Friday for me because I don't have the kids. JJ, Daniel and Amelia are actually going away for the weekend. They've got um, Daniel's cousins getting married. So Friday they're off. I think they come back Sunday evening. I've got so much housework to catch up on this week or over this weekend. So much. It is honestly, I've let things slip purely because I just haven't had the time. It's been so manically busy. I need to just get on top of it, get everything straight and think about what next week's going to look like because obviously me and Martin will be going away on the Thursday. So, and as I have the kids because it's half term. So I'm like, I might actually get some pampering done. Anyway, I'm going to, I just thought I'd start this weekly vlog so they get started. It's easier than just to pick up the camera as and when things happen. It's not very often you get five minutes to have a little chat i will see you soon <laughs> i don't know what i'm saying well, oh, awkward <laughs> right catch up soon hiya Okay, so I've just done a quick little order because it's raining and it's and it's lunchtime. So I need to get the kids some lunch. Which is this. <laughs> so we'll wrap that in the oven really, really quickly and they'll be back. Coleslaw, how tiny is this? Anyway. Butter. loaf of bread two pot noodles this is so random tin of hot dogs this is for tomorrow for the babies for lunch some bambergs one bag down got some salad for tomorrow's dinner got some Salted caramel chocolate hot cross buns. I've got four massive bananas. Like, honestly, look, this is the size of my hand. It's huge. Got some white buenos. I got a Pepsi Max cherry. Oopsie. And a strawberry milk for the babies. That is everything. How great is that though? Like literally, I ordered it 15 minutes ago, if that. Brilliant, isn't it? Anyway, right, put this stuff away, get their lunch done. This is what I'm going to be having for my lunch today never tried any of this range before but i fancied something spicy so i'm gonna give this a go 
Good morning everyone, I hope you're okay. I didn't pick up the camera again last night. That's because as soon as the kids got picked up from school, we took them all over. Ava picked, so she got this really brightly coloured dress and she'd also seen these jeans and they had like um, a smiley face and almost like graffiti, like drawing like hearts and flowers and things that are really like bright, just on blue jeans and a pink um hoodie so yeah she was really chuffed with that so we picked her up with that and then we got the kids mcdonald's the traffic was horrendous absolutely horrendous everywhere that time of night it always is got back they had their mcdonald's they had their pudding they were watching alvin and chick mum chick chip monks and then um yeah, they got in their PJs and we took them home. And then by the time me and Martin got home, I can't even remember what time it was now, it was a case of showers, PJs and, and chill out for a little bit. We were really, really tired. So, yeah, I was, try I was trying to think of what we've been watching lately. So what we watched, we watched that for me once. And I, I didn't rate it, to be honest with you. I didn't think it was all that. And then... Uh, we watched After the Flood. That was really good. I really enjoyed that. That was from the makers of Happy Valley. I loved Happy Valley. And I think that was all we watched. Oh no, and then we found a season of Unforgotten that we hadn't watched. So the last season we hadn't seen. So we went and watched that. But then that ended and it was a bit like, what do we watch now? We're on the hunt for something that you know we we kind of do like the crime dramas things like that so when we're watching this stuff together need to, so if you have if you have any recommendations let me know in the comments what you've been watching karen recommended one day to me i don't know if that's a movie or a tv series so i've added that to my list yeah that might be something that we start next if it's a tv series all right i'm gonna get myself coffee before nate and zeke get here and then i i don't know how if i'm gonna film anything today because it's crazy when they're here it's the last day of my dinner today but you know what's amazing i love having the babies i love my growing children so much but it's half term and because i'm going away on thursday i wouldn't have nate either so basically i get this is my break now from now until the following week which is so nice like i'm really ready for a little bit of a rest I feel shattered i don't know if it's an age thing or i don't know i'm just shattered all the time at the minute anyway we're not gonna we're not gonna start the day on a negative leanne <laughs> we're going to get that coffee down you and you'll be fine i just have to show you bella she's on my puff right in front of me look at her look at her butt <laughs> these are the shoes that i've um i need to try on with the dress and i've got a little clutch that i'll be keeping bella hi hey, baby hi pretty girl just I've started her off now. Right, I'm gonna go get my coffee and I'll catch up with you later. Ow. <laughs> That's better. Just... Mimi, tight. say hi. <laughs> Sorry, I've like bend her in. <laughs> You've done it too tight. Mimi, say hi. A camera. It's a camera, say hi. Hi, I'm making a people boy. <laughs> so we've just been, we just dropped Zeke home and took Ava's presents. Um, sorry, I can't turn the radio down. <laughs> you can't see me now anyway. Uh, I didn't bother vlogging in there because it was cray cray. So, um, yeah, we gave Ava a present. She was really, really happy. Now we're heading home, aren't we, Mimi? Are we going home, Mimi? Yeah. Yeah. All right, say bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. <laughs> Love you. Bye. I'll see you later. You are the vine, and we are the branches. I can do nothing apart from you. The giver of life, the one to hold on to. I can do nothing apart from you. I can do nothing 
been apart from you No You're my lifeline 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 People have asked about the banana skin that I keep in the Ziploc bag. I'm back to show you. Okay, so you get your banana skin and you rub it all over your skin. I draw draws out all the impurities in your skin, helps tighten. I mean, you have these lying around anyway. You're going to put them in the bin, so what's the worst that's going to happen? I think if you're allergic to um, latex or something like that, you're not allowed to use this. I'm sure that's what I read somewhere, but I'm not 100%. Just leave it on. You get little bits of banana sometimes, <laughs> which is so sexy. But, um, yeah, I've got a bit there. But yeah, you just um, whack it on. To be honest with you, I don't even wash it off. I just, it's, I leave it for 10 minutes and then I put my skincare on and get on with my day. So I'm going to get ready and then I need to head over to Dunstable to pick up some parcels from next. I'll bring you along. Okay, I'm ready now. Right, I've had some new glasses delivered today. I went for an eye test uh, a couple of weeks ago it's not been long at all really quick actually and obviously my prescription my prescriptions changed and the um uh martin what what's a what's the person that does your eyes what are they called optician, optician. <laughs> the optician said that because of the strength of my prescription i would need to have them shaved down so they can fit into frames i would have gone for plasticky frames anyway so that helps with uh your the thickness of the lens but i thought i'd have a look on um glasses direct because they had some good offers on and i got an absolute bargain to be honest with you i got two really nice frames for 95 pound including 29 29 pounds per frame was the shaving down and the anti-glare and all of that malarkey they were very thorough they asked for questions to make sure so that i had to do a thing on an app to make sure the pupil depth was right so that so you can see basically properly in the lenses i first of all ordered three frames to try at home no four four pairs of frames to try on at home and that was brilliant because i think the my ones that i thought was going to be my favorite was my least favorite they were too small for my face um so i picked two out um two other ones um that i've got today and they've came and i'm really really happy okay so these ones are the aspire beatrice gradient brown so let me show you so this is they've got lovely like gold detailing across the top and the sides i thought these were really nice take my old ones off so i've got these ones which i absolutely love i think they're just perfect for my face shape but let me know what you think but it's too late i've got them now so <laughs> But yeah, so I've got these ones and 
perfect. The prescription's perfect. They've done a brilliant job. Because I've done it before. I've ordered from Goggles Direct and they were not right. They made me, they weren't lined up right or whatever. The next pair are the Scout uh, Darcy Shiny Crystal Flowers in the green. So they're like a... I don't know what they're like. Can you see that? Really, really nice. They've done a really good job. They have shaved them down, so they're nowhere near as thick as what they normally would be. And these are those ones. They're quite nice, aren't they? I think they are. I think they suit my face. I'm really, really happy with them. When I ordered these, I got massive discount because I was a first time customer but there is a refer a friend program i'll pop the code on the screen but i'll also link it in the description box with the name and the color of these frames if you're interested um i think we both get something from the refer a friend program but there's no obligation i'm just merely putting it there in case you're in the market for some new glasses and you want to use my code and we both get something out of it so i'll pop it down there if I'm really chuffed, I need to just decide which ones I'm going to wear today. I'm just going to take you along. Like I said, me and Martin cracked on with loads of stuff today. The house is all tidy and organised. But we're going to head over to Dunstable, pick up my deliveries from Next. I've got a few parcels to collect. And then we're going to pop into the supermarket, get some bottles of wine for the, for the weekend. And some treaty bits and... We're going to get an Indian later and watch a movie. I'm really, really looking forward to just having some chill out time with Martin. It's been a heck of a week for some reason. So yeah, I'll catch up with you guys later. My lifeline, oh, you're my lifeline, 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 you're my lifeline. Okay, so got this Ben and Jerry Sunday. Oh my banoffee pies. Got banana with chocolatey caramel cups, cookie swirls, topped with creamy whipped ice cream, caramel swirls and chocolatey chunks. That is mine. And then Martin's got the do dolch delish. Salted caramel ice cream with chunks of caramel bar, caramel swirls topped with chocolate whipped ice cream and caramel swirls and chocolatey chunks. You can put them in the freezer and then I'll show you the rest of the stuff. Okay, and these are the other few bits that we got. Martin's just told me that it's Dolce. That I was supposed to say, not whatever I said. <laughs> oh, I feel like an idiot. Right, we've got a couple of bottles of wine for this weekend. Um, when we were... I really like both of these. Like, they're both absolutely yummy. When we were looking, they only had one of these. Um, so we got one of each. That's fine got the Lenore Outdoorables. I'm really loving the sweet, uh, Spring Awakening. I'll go off it again in a little while, but I'm liking that for now. Got two little bottles of Pepsi Max Cherry. Some quilted toilet roll. Bombay Bad Boy Pot Noodle for Martin. And a Sobo Chili one for me. I really like this one. Some extra thick, toasty, soft white bread. A little Taste the Difference Coleslaw. The wafer thin oak smoked ham, air dried. I love any air dried ham. That's my thing. I love it. Some squashies. And I cannot tell you how blinking lovely this smells. Danita, if you're watching this, we love the um what's the one I like, Martin? The you know the Yankee the wax melts. What's the can the, No, what's the candle on the windowsill? <laughs> Stony Cove. Oh, uh, it is on par with that, Danita. So if you're up, out and about and you see this one, let me know what you think because I think it's absolutely incredible. I'm so excited to burn this in a little while. So that's what we got from Sainsbury's. Here's my receipt if you want to check it out. And then we popped into our local shop because their crisps in there were cheaper. They were £2.50 for the flaming hot stuff in um, uh, Sainsbury's and these are only 125 so Martin got some Watsits and some Twisted Cheetos and I got two, 
two of the Cheetos. I absolutely, if, if you haven't tried these, oh my gosh, they are, the texture of the crisps are just amazing. Like they're my absolute favourite at the moment, I love them. And that's what we got. Okay, so we've got a little Indian. Mine's just gonna set it all up for us. We've got a chicken tikka biryani to share. And then Martin gets a vindaloo sauce. I get a korma sauce and we mix it up a bit. And then we've got two Peshwari naans and some onion bhajis. And I'm gonna get us a glass of wine. I've got to decide what we're gonna watch. of wine. Now we're going to go and put something on the telly and chill out for the evening. People knew her by her will To make it whatever she put her mind to Late night hours up the hill Serving coffee to strangers Talking about revenue She kept dreaming of a world Big enough for everyone she knew it. Good morning everyone, I hope you're okay So I thought what I would do is I'll get ready for the day I need to take some shoes back <laughs> And a few other bits I will show you what I got after I've got ready I'm just going to pop some moisturiser on And just thought I'd just have a little chat while I'm getting ready been up since half six just naturally woke up heard birds singing which was so lovely and I thought oh, do you know what I'm gonna get up have a coffee and enjoy the peace and quiet I did watch a couple of my favorite youtubers just caught up on their videos so I've put my moisturizer on now I'm going to be using a Luminous and Smooth Fit Me by Maybelline, like a primer, I quite like this one. But yeah, I thought, oh, I'll get the day started. I'm not going to bother washing my hair today because I've got church tomorrow, so I'll either wash my hair tonight or I'll just get up and do it in the morning, that's what I normally do, so it's all fresh. But other than taking some things back, I don't have any plans today. I've got this mirror for when I went on the Hindu. So it's got a, 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 what's it called? Magnifying mirror, that side. And then this one has a, yeah, it has a, has a light on it, which I think is quite useful. But sometimes when we stay in hotels, the lighting's shocking. It's really hard to actually get ready. I've got my number four... Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin. I'm going to be using this one today. Don't need a lot of it, so I'll use my foundation brush. I'm looking in the mirror down here, sorry, because the I'm using my DJI camera and it's not big enough for me to actually see what I'm doing. Put my contact lenses in just so I can actually get ready, but I'm going to take them out with my glasses. The funniest thing happened. So I yesterday, because I was wearing my new glasses, we're walking down this like stairs in next. You have to take the, uh, you have to collect your parcels and everything in men's room, which is upstairs. 
and as I was walking down the stairs, I said to Martin, oh my gosh, I feel like I can see, like my eyes have been cleaned, the world's so clear and beautiful, I can finally see. As I said this, I tripped on the stairs and he fell down, grabbed me. I was like, oh, can you imagine the embarrassment? And he said, maybe you can't say still. <laughs> right, that's the foundation blended in. Go go in with a little bit of concealer, stroke highlighter. Sometimes I end up using this more than the foundation. To be honest with you, I do my makeup a little bit different each time. I use different tools, or sometimes I whack on my foundation with my fingers. And then other times I'll use all the, you know, sponges, brushes. It's whatever I'm in the mood for, to be honest with you. This is just a quick, I say quick, there's still standards that I do. This is my little contour stick. I think this was, um, it's from, I don't know how to say that, sorry. <laughs> I'm quite impressed with it, to be honest with you. It is dark, so you don't need too much of it. Oh, is that the one brush I didn't get out of my makeup bag? Oh, there it is, I can see. Again, I use a brush for this. Just, um, I don't know, this is like a real techniques brush. I think it's actually a class as foundation brush, but I like it um, for my contour. I think it's because it blends quite well. Yeah, I'm going away. On my, it's my birthday on Thursday. And I still don't know where I'm going. So I need to... And I'm going out for a nice Italian on my actual birthday. Right, now I'm going to go in with my bronzer. I use this one. It's a W7 Honolulu. Um, from Amazon, it's cheapest chips, but I really like, um, I really like this one. Yeah, hopefully JJ and Daniel have had a nice time at the wedding. Where is my eyebrow pencil? There it is. I use the NYC um, micro brow pencil in Torp. Now I do need to get closer for this because I will not be able to see. I don't really have any eyebrows. They could do with being tinted this week. But I've definitely got time for that, so. Sorry. I can't believe how quickly Lauren's wedding's going to be here. That's why I think I want to get the shoes um, situation sorted. I want them to look pretty, but at the same time, comfortable. Okay. The sisters, not twins, Leanne. Right, where's my... I use this um, NYC... It's like a... What is it? A thickening brown mascara. Just to kind of make it look like I've got some hairs. Um, and it does do a good job of that, to be fair could do if like like I said tinting them and um shaping them a little bit a few like loose ones just scraggly I haven't got a lot of hair there so there's not much to do what am I on to now a bit of blusher I like my cream one again it's a blush stick that I got from Amazon I think I shared all of this in my um video before now literally that's all you need because it 
is very pigmented as you'll see when I start to pull it down see what I mean really pigmented it's gonna last years that <laughs> Gosh, probably a bit too much now right this is my absolute favorite setting powder i do really want to try the charlotte tilbury one which i might do depending on how much it is this translucent air spun i can't remember how much it was but it was dead cheap from um, amazon and i've had it for well over a year it's loose so i just use like this triangle little dirty old brush i've uh, sponged i've got <laughs> And I literally just loosely tap under there and down my shiny area. And then when I brush it off, you won't see all that colour. It will be gone. Right, now I need to find eyeliner. Oh, here it is. I've got a little stubby one. It's run out. <laughs> Oh, I've got a hair on there. Line over my lid just so it looks like the mascara is a little bit thicker than it is. Like I said, I'm not going anywhere today. Like as in nothing major. Just pop into the shops. And I'll have my glasses on in a minute anyway. Maybe I'll go a little bit under just to make the lash line look a bit more awake. I am just going to go over my um, eyelids with my bronzer. Nothing major, just um, the eyeliner will spread about a little bit because um I've got saggy eyelids <laughs> so it won't stay there anyway so I may as well okay I've been using this trial of push up lash lashes by pillow talk um Charlotte Tilbury I've got this um little trial with my foundation and they are really good but it does seem to get everywhere um so I'm just gonna try and just do the ends as soon as I blink, it'll go, it'll fall down. Got poor stupid faces, haven't I? See what I mean? I've already got it down there now. I blink too soon. Right, let's get this powder off. Where's my lippy? I haven't brought my lip liner in, so I'm just going to go in with my absolute favourite um, Rouge Edition Velvet by Bourgeois. Is it Bourgeois? Is that how you say it? They're discontinued. I like the Velvet Number no. Nine because it's like my perfect nude, if you know what I mean, with a bit of colour. I don't like brownie. Feel like an egg for some reason today right let me just try and sort my hair out which is just going to be in a messy kind of bun because I'm not washing it as I've said oh, I didn't bring a brush in here one minute I'll be back in a sec okay got my brush take my headband out kind of need to see my mirror if it's, a pos if it's possible Right, what I will do is I'll just loosely give it a little bit of something so that I'm not pull down these little front bits so it doesn't look too scooped back. I need to tone my hair. Oopsie. Right. Right, I need 
to it's gone forward a bit too much got some clips uh, little bobby pins so I'll just um, make sure it doesn't all spring open she says make sure it was it probably still will that'll do <laughs> that's it uh, my hair needs washing so there's no point me Right, I'm going to put some clothes on and then I'll show you what I got from next. Okay, I'm just randomly sat in the hallway because I've got all the stuff ready to go back to next. So I'll just quickly whisk through what I had and return in. There's nothing wrong with most of it. Most of it's still really beautiful, but it's just not, it's not perfect. So this is my little stash that I need to return. So there is these shoes these were super super comfortable I got these in two um, I've got two pairs of these I've got a size 5 and a size 6 because size 5 was a little bit small but the size 6 my foot was sliding out the front of it so that was no good these ones you saw in my last vlog they're the office strappy ones um, they're actually a bit too high so Turning these. These ones um, just were too white. Um, they say silver, but to me they're they're quite white. They were really comfortable though. Um, so them ones are going back. Um, these ones are beautiful. Um, they were actually really really comfortable, um, but they're just they just it, I, it needed to be a little bit not as solid colour if that makes sense <laughs> okay these ones were my next favourite so they're the Modella ones they're so comfortable um, but I think I prefer a bit more of a blocky heel because I feel like I slip in the thin heels even when they're short some of them are not in um so these are the pretty much the same as the first ones but lower so again it's the solidness that was no good um, that's the ones um these ones were really nice um but the heel was far too thin for me i'm not going to bother getting them out um that's just another pair the same ones as them ones in the different size and what these ones Oh yeah, these ones were nice as well. Um, I like the fact that they had a block heel, um, and I like the front, but it was a little bit snug around the toe area. I probably could have done with them a bit wider. It's a little bit too narrow for me, so it wasn't. And because it's so skinny there, it wasn't holding my foot in properly. So I knew that that was, you know, once your feet get a bit hot and sweaty, they're going to slip and slide, aren't they? So I needed something that's going to really support my foot. So they're going back. And then I've just got a couple of cami tops and these pack of bras. These were in the sale, they were £10.50 for three pairs, at uh, three pairs, three bras. These are 34E and look at the size of them. They're more like a, a CD. There was no chance, um, it gave me four boobs. <laughs> so they're going back. So yeah, I've just got to return all of this now. Fun times, but at least next are absolutely brilliant. It goes on back on the account within a couple of hours. So <clears throat> there's no like real hassle with returning stuff to next. Anyway, I'm gonna bag all this up and get going and I'll catch up with you later. Okay guys, I'm so sorry about the part of this vlog. <laughs> I am, um, it's Sunday. 
we went to church had every intention of um, picking up the camera bringing you along for the day as soon as i walked out of church the vision in this eye was like uh, i was getting a migraine so the whole way home i'm just i've just closed my eyes i'm just desperate to take some medication or something just to try and kick it in the butt i did that as soon as i got home and went to bed had a lay down and now so it's the weirdest thing whenever i've had a migraine i don't know if those of you who suffer with migraines get this at all but it almost gives me a bit of a dodgy tummy but then when i wake up from the rest i am starving like shaking starving like i could eat everything in sight i haven't been at, oh, it's honestly it's like it's like the worst hangover but not that not the the sicky feeling just the hunger feeling so dinner went out the window as in i can't physically stand out there and cook nothing i'm so drained so martin's just gone to get mcdonald's so that's what we're going to do this this evening obviously it's my birthday on thursday so my meals of the week might just be a couple of days this week um i'll see what i can i see what i can get done um other than that there probably isn't going to be a food shop or any of that i've got a couple of hello bella hi bella all right shush i've got a couple of uh, videos that i need to get done like collaboration type things so um I'll try and get them done this week. It's half term, so I don't have to have the kids, but I am going out for lunch, maybe, hopefully, depending on if I'm feeling better. Um, it doesn't usually go into another day, so I should be absolutely fine. But, yeah, uh, Lauren and Jay want to take me out for lunch because, obviously, I'll be going away on my birthday. So, yeah, I wanted to basically just come on and end this vlog so that I have some sort of context to edit it <laughs> and end it, and I'm really sorry. Bella's just come and sat next to me. Let me just show you. You haven't seen her for ages. Bella, say hi. Say hi. You pretty girl. Yeah. You pretty girl. So, yeah, I'm going to end the higgledy piggledy part weekly vlog here and see what i've hopefully i've got enough to put together something for you guys anyway i appreciate each and every one of you i love the comments that you always leave me you're always so encouraging and supporting and i love that little sisterhood that we have over on this channel so if you've just stumbled across me today and you're wondering what it's all about Stick around for a little bit, see if we're your cup of tea. We're a great, great bunch of women, even if I do say so myself. The people, my subscribers on this channel are top notch. Honestly, they lift one another. They're there for one another and it's incredible. And each and every one of you means so much to me. And I love doing life with you guys. So I will end it here. And I hope that you have an amazing week, whatever you guys are up to. And thank you for my early birthday wishes. It means the absolute world to me. And I'll catch up with you in the next video. Lots and lots and lots of love, guys. God bless.